Hello everybody and welcome back to the next video in this uh, particular video channel. This is Melody again and I am going to give you a video this time on we're going to break things down a little bit further than what we did last time and I'm actually going to tell you what a lot of these little these little names and yes they are weird names sometimes and I will tell you what a lot of those mean and what a lot of those do. What, what are the little numbers that you see? What, you know, what does each one of these do? Well, we're going to kind of explain some of that in this video. And we're going to start, uh, we're just going to do one division per video. And then we'll go from there. So um, we're going to start this time with the great division. And what that is, is that's the keyboard. Remember from the last video, this is the keyboard that is played from the bottom. Okay. And basically... Uh, we're just going to start. That would be my cat jumping up the ladder. Okay. Um, so we are going to start at, at the top and we're just going to kind of explain, or we'll, actually we'll start at the bottom, which is the way the organs work. And we'll start explaining what each of these voices does. And you can kind of hear a little bit of it and see what you think. Okay. So in the organ world, we have different, different um, families of tone and they are generated by different um, pipes made with different materials. So you'll have a tone that has a wooden pipe or you'll have a tone that has a metal pipe and they sound different. Um, and then you'll, you'll have a tone that has a reed built in uh, and so it will sound completely different too. Um, but each one of these has little numbers underneath. Like this one says eight foot, this one says four foot, eight foot, two foot. Those are literally feet. So that means, like if we pull the principal eight foot, spelled just like your principal at school, okay, if we pull that, that will come on. And so now we have a principal tone on the grate. Okay, that eight foot means the lowest note in that particular set of pipes is eight feet tall. It's a very low note. So that particular note will be eight feet tall. And that is no lie, that is actually eight feet tall. At least not in this organ, because this organ is all digital, which means everything is simulated. It's not real, but it sounds very, 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 very close to real. Um, and then from there, um, that is, so since we're already into it, we will do the metal family. So this is, um, this will be tones that is only found in the organ. They are not found any other place. They are not imitative of any other sound. This is only found in the organ. So in the principal family, in this organ, we have four different or three different stops. You have a principal at eight foot, which plays like this. Okay. And then you have an octave, which is basically another name for a principal, playing at four foot. So it creates a higher tone. And then we also have a super octave, which is basically a principal, again, just under a different name. And it plays like this. So if you actually put all three of those together, you have an eight, four, and two. Again, not imitative of any particular sound. These are only sounds that you find in the organ, okay? Because organs can usually try to recreate orchestral sounds. So you will find a lot of things that, that uh, would kind of imitate an orchestral instrument, like a flute. Um, or an oboe, or a, um, a bassoon, or something that you would normally find in an orchestra. Um, and then you have, these are different feet. So you saw how the eight foot, four foot, and two foot, the tone gets higher as you go. So that means that the tallest note 
in that particular rank of pipes is four feet tall. So there is a four foot, which obviously sounds different than the eight, which obviously sounds different than the two foot. And when you combine all three of those together, you get a much more broad tone. Now, also in this little family of pipes um, that are specific to the, or to the organ, we have a mixture. Now, a mixture is a set of pipes that, um, instead of one note playing at a time, like you would have on this, now we have a Roman numeral under this one. And no, that does not mean that it's four feet tall. The Roman numeral actually des designates that there is four ranks of pipes playing at one time, all of them at different tones, which gives you a very interesting sound. Creates a very interesting tone. Uh, so now we can add the two, four, and the eight to that also and create probably a very traditional church sound. So that is normally what you would hear from just a straight organ. Now, in theory, when I just played this, that is one note at a time, one note at a time, one note at a time, four notes at a time, so four, five, six, seven notes at one time when I press middle C. All from one key, I can control seven notes. Obviously more than that when you add more stops on, but for right now in this demonstration. So in the next family of tones, we have wooden tones. Wooden tones are kind of low. If you noticed how these are kind of a harsh sound, very loud, very bright. The wooden tones are actually more of a softer, more lavish tone. Things that you would use in quieter passage of music. So in this particular division, we have, in the great division, we have two. Uh, two wooden tones. So we have a gedecked eight foot and a gedecked four foot. So obviously we'll turn on the gedecked eight. And it has a much softer tone. And if you listen closely, I don't know how it will play on, um, I don't know how it will sound on the uh, phone here, but uh, you can actually hear the breath of air going into each pipe when it's played. Listen closely. So that is an eight foot tone and a gedect is a wooden pipe uh, and that would be eight feet tall at its lowest note. Pretty quiet, pretty low and uh, really adds a good foundation uh, to most quieter passages where you need some lower tone. And then you have a four foot version of that also. And its lowest tone is four feet. So you couple those together. You turn them both on at the same time. And you create a very interesting tone uh, that's very warm, very soft, got a very woodsy tone to it. Uh, and then we have um, strings. In, in an organ you have a string family of tones. And those are usually imitative of um, different string sounds. Um, but in this case, we only really have, in the Great Division, we only really have one kind of a string type tone. It's a dulciana. It's very soft. It's an eight foot pitch. And uh, it creates a very soft, warm tone also. It's, it's much different than your principal sound, because remember we heard the principal a second ago. 
here's the dulciana. And I didn't change the volume. So you can tell that the dulciana is a very softer, less um, pronounced tone uh, and blends really well with the rest of everything in the Great Division, but it's also helpful when you don't need something as bright and powerful as your principal division. Um, and then you have, in this one, uh, you have a Flute Celeste, and that is a Roman numeral two after that, which means this is a two rank set. So anytime you see a Roman numeral on an organ, that means that particular stop has however many on the Roman numeral playing at one time. So we know that the mixture has four ranks of pipes. This one has two, and it sounds like this. A very soft uh, Celeste. Now what the Celeste means is that it is, the first rank is tuned normal, and the second rank in this particular, um, this particular stop is tuned slightly off to kind of give you that off tone a little bit. And it creates a really nice warm tone and if you couple that with a dulciana you can get something pretty nice. And so further up the scale, here we go. We've already gone over the mixture. So what is this red one? This red one in this particular organ designates a reed tone. So a reed tone instead of just a breath of air going through and you basically have a glorified whistle, which all organ pipes basically are. If you ever look at a whistle, the length of your whistle determines how low your note's gonna be. Um, and when you breathe air across that, that air circulates inside the end of inside the speaking length of the pipe, which will give you your tone. Okay, so in reeds, instead of just a, uh, just air going across nothing that moves, there's actually a reed in the bottom of these pipes. And what happens is when the air goes in, it starts that reed to vibrate, which causes a very bright, sometimes really bright tone. Um, but those are usually, usually easy to find and designated with red. So you have, um, this is what we call a crumhorn. So in this organ on the grate, the crumhorn is basically a color reed. So I will explain in later videos what the difference between a color reed and a solo reed are because there is a huge difference and you will notice the difference. And I'll play them together so you can see them. So that is a crumb horn and its lowest note is eight feet. So that, the resonator on that pipe is actually eight feet tall or it would be if it was a real pipe and this is digital. So, and then we have two little functions here. This one is a chimes. So say you wanna play something uh, more Christmassy and you wanna play something with chimes. Well, now you have that option. Here you go. So you have a chime on the Great Division, which is very helpful with Christmas music and uh, anywhere else that you would, uh, maybe a little bit of patriotic music, anywhere else that would require some chimes. And the final draw knob that we have in this one is a tremulant, which will actually cause, uh, it is a little device that sits on top of the reservoir. And I will show you in later videos, the inside of a pipe chamber, what the inside looks like, what the different parts are, what vibrates, what makes noise, and. Pretty much everything in the chamber makes noise when you're playing. Uh, but this is actually a little motor uh, attached to a weight. And what happens is when you turn this on, then that starts, the motor starts to turn and the weight starts to turn. So it causes the air pressure in the reservoir to change. So you're not just getting a straight note anymore. 
that has a very steady tone. Now we're able to change that. And you have a slight waviness to the tone. Here's without. So that is that is a tremulant, and that basically uh, concludes the um, tour of the Great Division. So if you like, send me a like if you want to see something different. Um, and yes, I will hint to a later video, so that'll kind of help you to keep stay tuned here. I will tell you what these little dots above particular ones mean. Notice not everyone has that. Where's my dot? Well, there's a dot. There's a dot. I will tell you what each one of those mean. They have a very specific meaning on this organ, and you don't normally find it on most other organs. So it's a hidden feature that I will tell you about later on. So be stay, stay tuned and uh, be ready for the swell division coming up next. Uh, like the video, tell me what you want to see more of, what you want to hear, and uh, I'll read the comments and see what I can do. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day!